Hello world, Ophelia here, and welcome back to Night in the Woods. And it's actually been like, probably two weeks since I've played this game, which I feel a bit bad about. But, uh, I'm back and I want to play more. And if I remember correctly, I think we died in the last episode. What a story. Oh, oh crap, I don't remember the controls. Okay, let's see. How's work? You know, better than the glass factory. Is it? I've mined, I've ran machines, but now I get to slice steaks in hawk salamis. I mean, it's easier on the back for that. It's easier on the back, that's for sure. But like, do you like it? I like having a paycheck. Fair. Paychecks, the sweetest meats of all. Yeah. What'd you do tonight? Oh, you know, stuff. Tired. Feel like I just did a day's work. You know, there are places you can get paid for work these days. Oh, really? Yeah, they call it working. Huh, you kids with your slang. Slang you could pick up at work. Okay, yes, point made. Still nothing over here. I'm curious, did, um... Those boxes get moved yet, because I'm curious. Nope. Let's see if we can ask our dad to move them again. Because I want to see what's in there. I'm just really curious. Um, what about those boxes I asked about in the crawl space? Hmm, I'm thinking about it. Watch some TV with me? Yeah. Perfect timing. Garbo and Mallory starting. Aw, oh, yes. Oh, is this gonna be like last time? Ah, yes. You know we like to get political here. Gotta do it. Gotta. You hear about this new law in the books? Pirating a movie online? You know about that? I do. Punishable by up to 10 years in prison. Wow, and here I've been trying to get in the hard way. <laughs> he has, folks. Wonder if pirating a movie about first degree murder earns you more prison respect than one about grand larceny? larceny? Hey, Mallory. You know what I think about that law? What, Garbo? That's a WAPA. Is that their joke, the whole WAPA thing? Coming up next, stupid sandwiches. Whoops. There we go. I guess like the more time we spend uh, with our family, I, that will help us out, I guess. I mean, I suppose that makes sense. Hmm. Oh, messages from everyone. Hey May, you awake? Sure I am. What's up? Nothing. Watching TV. What are you watching? It's a true crime show. Is it any good? No, the reenactments are terrible. But if they were good, like, if they were good, I'd like actually feel bad for them. As it stands, it's just like bad local commercial actors pretending to murder or be murdered. I love those shows. They're the best. Hey, punk. Are you still electric? No, I think it's gone now. Hold on, let me touch something metal. Okay, I touched my futon frame and we're good. Good work, Dr. Science. Does Angus like the robot? I think so. He's just kind of looking at it. Hold on, I'll ask him. Okay, he says to say thank you. So I think that means he likes it. Alright, Duder, I'm turning in. Me too. See you later. Hey, May, are you alright? I was afraid you were really hurt. And you left so quickly. I'm good, big guy. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Oh, I appreciate it. Try not to almost die anymore tonight. No promises. I'm just anxiously waiting. 
for a message to show up from Casey. <laughs> the charcoal. Alright, let's go to bed and see what tomorrow has in store. Oh, wait. Crazy me. Crazy dreams. That's a thing that's been happening. Yes. Show me another crazy dream. Yes, no, maybe. Please. Yes! Okay, we got four more uh, posts over here. Looks like we're finding four more things. And I can't get up that way. So I guess we're going this way. More musicians. now I know what to do this time. Instead of just like wandering around trying to figure it out like I pretty much did last time. Oh, it just came from here. Unless... Nope, can't get up those. Darn. Hmm. Yes. The freaking phone again! I don't understand! I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I really think I need to find a better place to start recording somewhere that's not so close to the phone. But we did get a new one fairly recently, and it you can hear it from everywhere in the house. So, uh... I don't know how much finding a different spot's gonna help me. Mm. See, it's almost like every episode so far that's happened. I'm so sorry. Mm. And we've already been here. third one. Uh, Alright, one more, one more. I think I don't know where I have been and where I have not. It's all just really dark on the screen. Okay, down here, I'm guessing. for a swim or I walk on the ponds. Hmm. All right. And back to those um markers, I guess. I don't remember where they are. Um um, it's, um, somewhere I can only get to from one direction. Like, I could only move one way. Oh. oh god, I don't remember. Ah! Mm. Oh. 
Ah. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I couldn't figure that out. I've been at this for like 10 minutes. Ah, I feel so dumb. It's a giant squirrel. Ooh, that's loud again. I should have figured that out. Oh my god. Oh well, that's over now, and I won't have to do that again. Because that was really annoying. And again, that's mainly just... I couldn't figure it out. Uh... Alright. Let's start this day. Forget about all that. Messages? Yes? No? Maybe? Yep. Hey. I'm at work all day. Just saying, if you want to say hello, I am here to be hello at. Alright, we can go visit her. Yes. Update. The robot smells a little weird. Not sure what we missed there. Anyway. Hey, boyo. At work all day. Very bored. Work sucks. Crap falcon, more like it. Alright, we're gonna go visit everyone at work today. Unless those boxes are moved. I'm curious. What is in there? It's probably gonna be nothing, I'm just like too curious about it. Nope. Oh, oh, something new. I wonder if you can learn to talk to birds. Oh, that's it. Bookshelf. This bookshelf is like the ghost of Granddad. Hanging out in the corner. Maybe not his ghost. Like his skeleton. Ugh, okay, I just made myself sad. Why did I come over here? Oh, hmm. There's like something written inside this book cover. Left 45, right 100, left 22, left 9. I'm gonna forget that, I'm gonna take a picture. That seems very important. Let's take a picture of that. Okay. Is this like... What is this? Oh, did we just write it down? Thought Granddad come back to life. Everything. Did we write those numbers down? No. Alright, it's good I took a picture. Is there anything else? Or... Oh yeah, let's see. Where is it? Oh yeah, here it is. The floating islands and other stories. Granddad didn't read out of this. He like, recited it from memory. He made stuff up on top of that to get me to sleep when I was a kid. Miss you, dude. Bookshelf. The floating island. Jeez, I'm old. God, I feel like those numbers are so important. Like, what for? Yawn. Morning. Long night? Yep. Remember those big robot things from the food donkey? Mm-hmm. You were scared of those. Cried your little eyes out. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Mm-hmm. I don't remember this at all. Uh-huh. You okay? Yeah, just been doing boring adult stuff. What kind of adult stuff? I'm adult stuff. Just like budget, bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood is number stress. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. Oh, I remember. Okay, well, I'm gonna head out. Mm-hmm. Have a nice day. Mama Cat looks so sad today. Let's go visit everyone. Mm. 
everything's looking progressively more autumn. Which is kind of nice. I like it. Autumn's an awesome season. All the pumpkins and leaves and Halloween. Gotta love Halloween. Hmm. Oh, yeah, this is Beast Store. Oh, who are you? Hey, dude. Hello. How's working here going? Eh, I don't know. It pays. Alright. Bee! Hey, May. How's the pickaxe? Trying to kill me. Unsuccessfully. <laughs> Thus far, at least. What's so stressful? Well, on top of everything else, we're hosting that stupid harvest play tomorrow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm never I'm never offering to do this again. What are you up to tonight? Uh, nothing. I'm like super tired. Because everything about my life is exhausting. I'm doing the work of like three employees plus a store owner. Even though I'm one employee and I do not own this store. Oh, weird. I thought for some reason you own this place now. You'd think that. But also no, I'd rather die. Literally, make me a coffin. Using materials and tools from this store. And bury me anywhere else. <laughs> Jeez, that got intense. Ugh. Anyway, I'm doing nothing tonight. I can do nothing too. Fine. So are we doing this? Sure, I got a couple others. Okay, so again, I have the option of B or uh, Angus. Oh, it, not Angus. Greg. His name is Greg. I don't know why I got those messed up again. But yeah, let's hang out with B. Hi, B. Hi, May. Hi, Germ. Hey, dude. Germ has helped me move stuff for un move stuff for under the table cash. Oh, nice. Well. I'm knocking off work early to pick some gross pick up some groceries. Wanna come? Sure. Ready to go? You you got a lot of hammers. Holy shit, there's so many kinds of nails. Alright then. He's like something out of a children's book. But what whatever the hell he is. Dinner at bees. This place killed the food donkey. Yeah, kinda. Food! You know, no one who works here had anything to do with that. True. Donkey! You sure showed Ham Panther- You sure showed Ham Panther corporate who's boss. Actually. Do you know our senator is on the Ham Panther board or something? You know you're zero fun, right? I do know that, yes. Okay. I need to grab a few things quick. Aw, oh, I thought we were gonna hang out. Uh, we are hanging out. I'm just here to grab something for dinner for Dad and me. Don't feel like doing the big shop tonight. Let me pick up what we have. Oh, I'm sorry, are you coming to dinner? Can I? Um, I guess. Are you asking? I wasn't. But now it feels weird not to. I'll pick up what we eat then. Wait, you're serious? Yeah! You know what? Go for it. I hate shopping. Need, like, a main course and two sides. Fancy. Fancy. Eh, we're traditional. What kind of main course? You can stop back in the meat section once you pick out whatever else. What about dessert? We're not children. Appetizer? We're on a budget, May. Okay, okay, okay. You hang out and I'll be back. Just make it quick and not too horrible. Also, dad's sensitive to broccoli. And also, no shoplifting this time. Aww. I can afford a few groceries, May. Also, this place has cameras. Good point. Sweet. What's over here? Gosh, green beans. Sasquatch. The what? No. Grainy beans? No. 
Cream of chicken soup. No. Green beans. Yes. Delish. Mac and cheese. Always nice. Potatoes. No. Mashed potatoes. Nice rice. Yes, let us... Mm, no, let's go for the mashed potatoes. Mmm, delicious. Oh, do I have options of other things too? Biscuits? No. Shaky, what goes well with meat? Oh, I don't think I meant it. Oops. B, I have brought us back groceries. My dad works at the deli. We could go there for the meats. Okay. Sweet. To the deli. Oh, are you there, ladies? Hey, Dad. Hey, B. Long time no see. How are you, Mr. Borowski? Can't complain. Just me and the meats. Meat friends. Just you? Oh, not always, but tonight, yeah. Worst place on earth to be. True. Still weird seeing you here. Beats the alternatives. I think I saw my old music teacher when we came in. Oh, yeah, that was Mr. Armistead. Looks like it's his job to say hello to people. Yep, called to greet her. I knew I recognized him from somewhere. Alternatives? Not working. Oh. So what are you lovely ladies doing here? Just grabbing something for dinner. How's your dad? Alright. What can I get for you ladies? Chicken. There's fishes. Pork chops. Can't go wrong with chicken. <laughs> Can't go wrong there. Mm. Do I want to pull the trigger on these meats? Yes. But you should come by for dinner sometime. At the Ham Panther? At home, May. I'll grill us up something nice. We can chop up just about anything back here. That would be nice, thank you. Yeah. Okay, let's get our meats. Coming right up. Alright, dinner decided. I'm not even looking at what you got. That is how straight up tired I am. It's gonna be great. All right, let's keep moving. All right, ladies, let's see what you all got. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes, okay. Looks completely 100% okay. All right, thanks, Mr. Borowski. Tell your dad I said hello. See you later, dad. Night, ladies. That was fun. Yep. Groceries. Really makes you appreciate life. Your sarcasm is invalid. Shopping is fun. Woohoo! <laughs> Dinner time! This is okay. Thanks. Yeah, it's alright. Thanks. Yeah, it'll do. Thanks. You did fine, May. Thanks. Can't go wrong with meat and carbs. Thank you, May. I'm really good at food. I don't know if I've mentioned what. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I got a really good grade in home ec back in high school. I made this shirt. Hey, hey, can you fix my pants? Any money in it? Dad, we can get you some new pants. So yeah, we're all paid up till the 15th next month. No, alright. That rock salt sort of? Yeah, should be fine. Is Rob still driving that big truck? As far as I know. 
Uh, I need you to sign some things. Left them on the bar. Thanks. I might just get to them. I think I might just get Please do. We have to pay the guys in a few days. I don't need you to remind me. I know, but... I don't be a tricks. Whose name's on the deed? Yours, Dad. Whose name's on the checks? Yours. I feel really awkward sitting here right now. Smelter's playing tonight? We're gonna go hang out in my room. Yeah. You girls have a nice time. Thanks for dinner, May. Yep. Smelters, huh? You a fan? Oh, it's a hockey team. Not really. You don't know what you're missing. Oh, trust me. I know exactly what I'm missing. My parents watch the smelters pretty religiously. Ha, huh, they raised you right then. What happens? I have no idea. Did you guys just move in? Ten months ago. Why aren't you unpacked? Are you a record player? Yeah, pretty cool record player. As far as record players go. It was my mom's. I don't have any records. I don't get records. My mom was into them. Ah, <laughs> they were retro when she was my age. They're retro now. That's how retro works. So I've got a question. Mm-hmm. They both don't sound good. He has good days and bad days, often in the same day. Huh, Greg's always been like that too. Just more, uh, zany about it? Well, Greg is probably bipolar. Gee, thanks, Dr. B. Whereas my dad is ha The phone again! I'm moving after this episode. I'm moving spots after this episode. Uh, I'm back. I hate this phone so much. No one even leaves a message. It's just ringing for no reason and bothering me. <sighs> Whereas my dad's been having a years long breakdown. You run the whole store now, right? More or less. Yeah, but it's still his, it's still his name on everything. Yep. And meanwhile, you're running basically everything. Yep. And, and, working there every day, too. Yep. I just think you shouldn't. Okay. I just think you're, like, selling yourself out. I think you're selling yourself out. I'm sorry, what? Like, you're not doing anything about it just reinforces. Is this really the road you want to go down with this? No. Oh god, they're they're both awful. This one. Quit? Really? Just quit? You are seriously detached from reality. You're doing all the work and he's getting all the credit. Oh, go to hell. What? Why? Rawr. What is your problem? Here's some reality for you. You know Creek? Repair guy Creek at the shop? No? Yeah? Yeah, you met him when we were kids. When I was 15, he asked my dad if he could teach me how to drive. And my dad said no, and then told me not to be alone with him. But I don't follow. He's a creep, May. And you know what? He still works for us. Why haven't you fired him? I can't fire people. Even if I could, he's on the crew. And frankly, he's our best guy. Practically heads up the repair team. Since my dad's barely doing anything. And Creek's got a family and he needs the work. I don't understand. Yeah, me too. I'm really familiar with that feeling. I'm just saying if you keep letting these dudes off the hook. Off the hook? Like, you're stronger than this, B. You're like, badass and shit. You? you? Badass? My mom dying was not very badass. Me sitting in this room right now is not very badass. Okay, sorry, I... You're such a shithead, you know that? Uh... Yeah... 
Uh, arg what? A lot of folks can't just choose to do whatever it is you decree to be the right thing. A lot of times people do the things they do because they can't do anything else. They're both- choose what? Honestly, tell me. What is my choice here? You just leave. Tell him what? What is your magic solution that I need to do? Am I seriously going to punch- I'm seriously going to punch your goddamn lights out. You come in here and start tell telling me how I'm screwing things up? You want to come in here and say, oh yeah, just ditch your dad, who's both getting old and can barely get off the couch half the time? You want to come here and say, oh yeah, just start the big drama and make your life way more stressful? We should have gone to see it. To see Greg tonight. Oh, what are you saying then? Oh, I don't know anymore. I get Greg is probably off doing God knows what with wacky shit right now. I'm here making dinner and doing payroll. You know, like, nothing about my life. You just know what I should do. And you're the last person I'd ask for advice. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. Everyone's sorry. But you don't get it. You're just like the other night, but all the time. Running around, messing with people, and taking whatever you want, while the whole mall is falling apart around you. I thought you had a good time. I should go. You should go. Oh boy. Chicken dinner, like mom. Mm. Oh, that was really kind of shitty. Bad May. Bad. Alright, I'm gonna leave this episode here because I have no idea how long I've been recording for. But yeah. Uh, this episode made me not feel great. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Well, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.